But at the same time, the BBC aren't professional diplomats. We already know the North Korean government has told the BBC via its UK embassy that it's not happy about this new language service. So is it provocative to go ahead? We think that there's a value in areas of geopolitical tension for there to be access to impartial and reliable and independent news. We think that helps de-escalate points of international tension. So our view is actually that the BBC will help in the long term with the access. You know, there's a huge amount of concern internationally about fake news, about how that's being manipulated by particular countries and, you know, to foment inter-ethnic problems in different territories around the world. So the BBC's got a really important mission now to get into that space and to make sure that free and impartial and accurate information is available as a gold standard, if you like. And we think overall that helps de-escalate geopolitical tensions, not the other way around.